представление. Меня зовут Ким Ты Хён. Я... Thanks a lot for introduction. My name is uh, uh, Dr. Kim Taehyun. I'm a specialist of proton radiation therapy in the uh, um, uh, liver um, treatment center of the National Cancer Center of Korea. I will talk about the proton beam therapy role uh, so when treating the HCC, uh, based on our experience uh, in the center for proton uh, therapy of the National Cancer Center. Today, I'd like to discuss six important points. First of all, What's the difference between uh, proton beam and photons or X-ray? Second, uh, how uh, tumor spawn looks like in patients, uh, in HCC patients after proton beam therapy. The third thing, what is, uh, what is the effectiveness, the feasibility and safety of, uh, of uh, um, PBT in advanced CEC with tumor muscular thrombosis? Uh, and uh, the fourth, uh, in case of tumor muscular thrombosis, the force, uh, if PBT is effective and feasible in early intermediate stage is, uh, of ACC, according to Barcelona BCLC uh, uh, score system. Fifth, does PBT has a role as a complementary alternative treatment option for HCC? Uh, so, uh, is uh, uh, proton therapy could be used as a combination or additional uh, variants with, so let's say, standards uh, of care. And then uh, let's talk about difference between proton uh, beam therapy uh, with the use uh, carbon ions. First, which I would like to talk about, is the difference between proton beam uh, therapy and uh, photons. Unlike uh, photons or X-rays, proton beam has a unique physical characteristics uh, called spread out brack peak. If you place a uh, brack peak in accordance to the tumor location, we call it uh, uh, brack peak spread out. So unique, uh, uh, unique feature of that beam when it's used is a low effect on normal tissues and more irradiation on the tumor itself. That's why PBT advantage is a enhanced therapeutic effect and less risk for con, uh, co, uh, of uh, PBT versus photons. So when new uh, photon system are developed, uh, like uh, uh, trilogy system, solar therapy, sabonai for ultra beam system, many linear accelerators. Usually, uh, they said that tumor could be uh, better studied, but it's better pro protects uh, surrounding tissues uh, with less risk for uh, organic risk and better therapeutic effect. Uh, that's a study of the plant uh, therapy in our uh, uh, in our uh, facility. So we compared helical Thomas therapy, rapid duct treatment to BT. We could see with, uh, with a normal, with a similar radiation rate, normal tissues are less irradiated, and the tumor itself, tumor tissue itself, uh, goes more of radiation. So these results confirm that the use of proton therapy in liver cancer patients might decrease the chances for uh, side effects in normal tissues along with um, enhancing the uh, therapeutic effect on the tumor. This slide presents system, uh, systematic review and meta-analysis of clinical results for radiation therapy uh, with, uh, with the use of uh, X-rays or uh, PBT in HCC patients. That's a retrospective trial because there is no uh, prospective trial comparing uh, X-rays and PBT. Conforming of conformal uh, uh, radio therapy, stereotaxic radiation therapy, and, and, and uh, comparison uh, with, uh, um, so to say, charged particles, meaning proton uh, beam therapy. SBRT and, uh, and CPT are quite similar with regard to overall soil, but better than CRT. With, with the toxicity, uh, charged particle therapy is better than CRT uh, and uh, CBRT. Then, how does tumor response after uh, uh, PBT? That's the main data of our hospital. After treating of 71 patients uh, after PBT, we reached complete uh, remission in 66 patients 
which actually is 93 percent. No, uh, did, uh, in the five patients, seven percent didn't reach complete remission. Four patients after PBT uh, disease progressed. Average time to complete response was about six months, and time range was from one to 22 months. All patients with complete remission showed complete response in two years. This is a primary tumor. PBT was already done there. Then you see CT scan image uh, three months post treatment and uh, a tumor with an increase of uh, contrast in, in three months. A uh, tumor, tumor at CT scan is not visible. Uh, has uh, the tumor, uh, uh, so to say, um, disappeared in three months? So, meaning uh, uh, there was no. Uh, 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 what about the LPFS, DFS, or overall survival since the time of tumor response? What are those parameters? So we can say is that tumor response rate is not is, is not related to prognosis. So we don't need to worry about uh, or concern about slow tumor response. Maybe it more depends on the tumor size or type. Then we uh, will discuss the effects of PT in case of advanced HCC uh, with uh, stage C according to BCLC classification with tumor and uh, vascular thrombosis. Uh, two uh, grade three uh, of phase three clinical trials comparing serifinib and uh, placebo. Uh, it's a sharp trial studying uh, uh, those drugs in uh, association region and uh, showed survival rate two percent higher versus placebo. Uh, so uh, disease control was better, 10-15%. Still, overall survival in the serpentative group was 10, about 10 months, and the objective tumor response was about 5% as a statistical effect of the tumor growth rather than decrease. So we can say that we need to consider a combination of local methods of treatment which will be able to decrease tumor. In case of advanced uh, HCC, anatomical parameters uh, uh, portal vein showing uh, vascular uh, invasion or vascular thrombosis depending on the tumor location. Uh, mm, there is a difference in the uh, adjustment to the impaired portal vein or JT, meaning stomach or duodenum. The risk for side effects from uh, the side of uh, JIT depends on the distance from the tumor and JIT. That's why overall radiation dose with PBT actually is set depending on the distance from the tumor to JIT organs, divided it into three groups. If the distance between the tumor and JIT is very uh, small, uh, less than one centimeter, like in case of a patient who has a distance from the main portal vein to stomach and the other is less than one centimeter. And the second, if the portal vein area infiltrated with the tumor is at the distance of about one, two centimeters from JIT structures, or uh, the tumor uh, with thrombosis is located more than two centimeters from JIT. The total radiation dose is determined on the basis from the, of, the, of the distance from tumor to JIT. In case of less centimeter of distance, overall radiation dose is 50 grays. And in case of 1-2 centimeter, overall radiation dose is 60 grays. Once the distance is more than 2 centimeters, the overall uh, dose is 66 grays. This is, this is the results of front therapy in case of advanced HCC with vascular invasion and thrombosis. When treated uh, with uh, serafinib only or proton therapy or PBT, overall survival is uh, from 18 to 20 months. Uh, according to our recently produced data, overall survival is about 19 months in case of vascular invasion of uh, uh, portal vein and 34 months in case of portal uh, in uh, vascular invasion of, of, of only um, uh, of branches of uh, portal vein. The results of uh, uh, SBRT, the results of studies with SBRT, CRT, or PBT. 
And let's discuss the effectiveness of, of PBT at early or intermediate stages, uh, meaning A, stages A and B, uh, for HSC according to P, uh, PLB classification. This is a clinical case, a uh, patient 70 years of age with uh, HBV after uh, right hemigepatectomy. So she has only left uh, hepatic lobes. Uh, she underwent transarterial uh, artery chemobilization six times with a relapse developing in the left lobe. Then we did protein therapy of the relapsing tumor of her S3 segment in the left liver lobe. As a result, uh, we reached complete remission in this segment. After the treatment of uh, uh, regions near the heart and uh, lower um, uh, vena cava, new tumor appeared. Due to the location close to the heart and small size of the residual tumor, is a contraindication to surgical resection or radio frequency ablation. Also, it's hard to use other methods of treatment. Uh, patients underwent uh, PBT in three months, uh, in three weeks, three, uh, three months, and six months uh, follow-up. We uh, noticed complete tumor remission. That's the result of treatment of 71 patients who were uh, treated with 61 grays uh, of radiation. The tumor was at the, had the distance of more than two centimeters from JIT with early or intermediate change without thrombosis. The patients were treated with, with PBT from 2013 till 2015. 8.3% uh, uh, of, of local relapses after PBT were detected. Majority of relapses were intrahepatic outside of uh, treated region. There was no toxicity signs, and severity of side effects was uh, mostly of grade 1 or 2. There were no signs of grade 3 toxicity and higher. The uh, three-year local follow-up uh, rate uh, reached 90%, and three-year overall survival was 74.4% uh, versus uh, five annual year survival of about uh, 50%. Positive treatment result is very uh, promising. So these are the results of the prospective phase two trial of uh, PBT for HCC in our uh, institution. That was a trial for elevated dose of PBT, where total uh, radiation dose reached 70 gray, increasing uh, radiation dose by 10% versus conventional uh, dose of 66 grays. In that uh, study, uh, three-year local regional survival rate without progression uh, reached 95%, and uh, three-year overall survival reached 86.4%. Since there is no control group, we can uh, we can have here systematic uh, selection bias, but the results are quite comparable with the traditional interventions like uh, surgical uh, resection. According to the clinical results of proton therapy in various uh, facilities, you can see data from Japan in Europe, including our institution. Uh, overall, uh, three-year local regional survival rate without uh, survival without separation uh, reached about 90%, and three-year overall survival uh, reached uh, was from 50 to 70%. Besides, the side effect uh, uh, rate was less than 50%. So, with such a low uh, rate, we can say we can claim that PBT is safe. Well, based on the results you've heard, we've organized a randomized comparative trial, uh, phase three. Was a, uh, was a was non inferiority trial of comparing PBT with radio frequency ablation and the standard standards of care for HCC with a size of tumor less than three centimeters. The primary endpoint was uh, regional survival without progression, and the, sec the secondary endpoint we use overall survival, uh, so uh, survival also progression free survival and safety. In each of two groups. We enrolled 72 patients. Uh, median follow-up time was similar. In the RFA group, 26% of patients were switched to another treatment, including PBT, since RFA, RFA was technically uh, not uh, available. In the group treated with PBT, only 8% of patients uh, were technically uh, was technically impossible to provide such treatment, so we used another methods of treatment, including RFA. So, 
In other words, the uh, uh, rate how uh, uh, PBT replaces other methods of treatment is lower than RFA because uh, proton therapy is uh, is uh, clinically limited and less technically, uh, so to say, feasible uh, versus RFA. Uh, here you see a uh, distribution of all clinical signs, including age, sex, status, uh, liver size, HLP, and tumor size. Uh, we're not different with the tumor in patients treated with RFA or PBT. If you look at the primary endpoint, I mean, local regional survival, uh, progression free survival, uh, the analysis of the uh, uh, of of ITT and PP analysis, we can see the PP analysis, uh, local regional uh, operation of free survival looks wonderful versus RFA, uh, where it reached two, three, and four uh, years. And the group, according to the ITT group, uh, the LPFS curves in two groups, uh, they meet in four years. LPFS in the PPT group seems uh, to uh, overcome uh, uh, RFA as to PP and IDT analysis, but statistically these groups showed no differences. In this study, local regional progression free survival for proton therapy is within uh, the range of non inferiority versus uh, LPFS after uh, RFA. So the results proved that pro pro PBT was quite good from the total from the point of view of local tumor control versus RFA. Then we produced a secondary endpoint analysis, I mean PFS and OS, and confirmed there was no difference between PFS and OS, comparing two groups, uh, meaning uh, uh, PBT and RFA treated patients. Uh, this is a side effect or adverse event analysis, one of the secondary endpoints. Majority of them were of grade one or two. Uh, grade three is, uh, adverse events were reached only in the RFA group and were not detected in the PBT group. This result shows safety of proton therapy, uh, that it is not inferior to local tumor control versus RFA, and it's quite safe uh, versus uh, standards of care. This is the first phase three trial comparing uh, PBT versus RFA. What is the role of PBT at every stage versus current standards of care? Let's see. If we compare results of treatment for each stage expected uh, after existing therapy or PBT, then we can conclude on the role of PBT for every stage. This is a clinical result of 243 patients who underwent uh, proton therapy in our hospital. As I explained before, according to the distance from JIT, uh, from the tumor to JIT, we uh, defined overall uh, radiation dose for uh, with the group. It was, it was, it was uh, so it was 50, 60, and 66 grays, which, uh, which we provided in 10 sessions. There were differences in tumor size, uh, tumor thrombosis, modified stability, UICC, in, and uh, BLCC uh, uh, stages. And all patients with after PBT, five year survival rate uh, reached 69% uh, for modified uh, therapy. For UICC, for 63.9 for stage 2, so 43.2% so for stage 3, and 263 for stage 4. As to the uh, BCLC stage, five year survival uh, was 55% for stage A, 40 for stage B, and 32 for stage C. Here the expected results for each standards of care for every case of previously diagnosed stage according to BCLC uh, classification. Expected five year survival after surgical radiation, uh, RFA, and uh, uh, liver transplantation at very early, early stage uh, reaches uh, 50 to 70%. Uh, mean survival uh, was 65% and mean overall survival uh, uh, was 65% for patients treated with 
use PPT in our hospital. These results show that PPT is comparable or not inferior to other standards of care treating HCC at early or very early stages and could be used as an alternative of treatment uh, at such stages as an intermediate one. If the standard uh, therapy for liver cancer is transanterial uh, chemo mobilization, expected uh, mean survival is about 36 months. Uh, mean survival in patients after PBT at this stage in our hospital uh, reached 37 months. This result actually assumes a possibility to get better results of treatment through addition or replacement of proton therapy and not all it is at the intermediate stage of uh, liver cancer. So we expect that PBT at intermediate stage will provide additional or alternative role to existing standards of care. In case of the late HCC, expected uh, medium uh, survival is about 10 months or longer if uh, if systemic standard uh, standard therapy is provided uh, as a result in our clinic using a combination of pbt in case of liver uh, of the late stage uh, liver cancer the uh, median uh, survival was 33 months in patients with large vessel invasion uh, invasion of uh, invasion of large vessels with poor prognosis showed median uh, survival of 19 months we expect that due to addition of proton therapy to existing standards of care, we would improve tumor control and produce a better survival with late stage ACC. These results are the results of treating patients with liver cancer who were treated with proton therapy after primary diagnosing in the National National Cancer Center Hospital in Cuba. We showed expected uh, local control rate uh, and, uh, and, and uh, overall soil for each stage. As a result of our studies and, and other uh, studies, uh, patient survival in, uh, with liver cancer treated with PBT at each stage uh, was uh, found to be comparable or promising at each stage. It is considered that proton therapy could replace or uh, add to existing therapy at every stage of the disease. And finally, let's discuss differences between proton therapy with the use of proton beam and therapy with uh, heavy uh, particles of carbon ions. Proton is an elementary particle and carbon ion consists of six protons and six uh, neutrons. Uh, uh, carbon is uh, as large a mass and uh, more of a charge versus proton. Carbon ions contains protons, which as uh, uh, isolated protons has physical uh, properties of break peaks. At the same time, it has neutrons, which have their own radiochemical effects. Neut neutrons effects of destroying uh, cells is uh, two, five times higher. Uh, to 10 times higher is than with uh, uh, X-rays. In uh, carbon or with the neutrons enhances uh, to, uh, tumor acidic effect two to five times. Protons, on the hand, has uh, produce uh, better, uh, apo better produce apoptosis than X-rays. It's uh, one point time uh, uh, more intense uh, versus six is independent where protons enter the body. So therapeutic effects and potential adverse events of proton therapy of PBT are easy to predict using clinical uh, data on the level of tumor control and adverse events depending on the uh, X-rays uh, irradiation accumulated during uh, radiotherapy sessions. On the other hand, in case of carbon ions, it is different from the depending on the position of the carbon beam going through the body and location of the break peak. Uh, X-rays, uh, 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 carbon, uh, uh, carbon effects are two times, even five times more intense with regard to the cell death in different regions. And when radiating with carbon beam, ability to induce apoptosis versus X-rays is used through compensation of theoretical weight. Also, there is some uh, uncertainty if the expected biological and uh, real clinical results do they fit to actual clinical outcomes. Such high uh, uh, carbonized radiological mixture could be the advantage from the point of view of tumor control, but could be also if a disadvantage when we uh, try to uh, prognose uh, complications in normal tissues.
currently clinical data shows that, that in case of the liver contra, uh, PBT and treatment of heavy ions with the use of carbon ions is all, are almost similar with regard to the uh, degree of local control over the tumor. These two uh, techniques show no difference even with regard to the tumor size. That's why we don't have any proofs that heavy ion therapy with the use of carbon ions is better than PBT only uh, because it has quite high radiological efficacy in uh, liver cancer patients. When treating with heavy carbon ions, we need more expenditures and the place to build new therapeutic facility. Sir Kanbun uh, has a weight 12 times higher and a charge six times higher versus protons. Finally, Proton therapy is an, uh, has advantages uh, versus uh, X-rays or photons because it could provide quite significant radiation effects on the tumor, protecting normal tissues uh, with a break peak, which is a unique physical property of protons. After proton therapy, complete tumor remission uh, for complete tumor remission means about uh, six months. Uh, though complete remission might uh, require up to two years, as there is no differences in the uh, tumor response rate. In case of advanced liver cancer, higher survival rate is uh, uh, was discussed when we do uh, PBT versus X-ray therapy. So we expect that uh, survival rate will be better when we combine chemotherapy plus proton therapy at, uh, at early and intermediate stages. BPT shows results similar to the conventional therapy. In particular, in case of uh, early uh, liver cancer, we expect that proton therapy would be available as an alternative to standards of care, such as surgical resection and radiofrequency ablation. At the intermediate stage, it seems to play uh, additional role for existing therapy, uh, uh, such as uh, transarterial chemobilization or TACE. So, we've discussed our experience and role of uh, PBT in uh, treating HSC patients in National Cancer Center. Thank you for your attention.